I was in the east part of the Dominican Republic by the Caribbean Sea but was about to pack my bag and go on a long bus ride across the whole country. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I am here in the Dominican Republic in a city called Punta Cana and this is one of the most famous tourist attractions here in all of the Dominican Republic. I was in the hotel zone, I also went to an all-inclusive resort, that was really nice. Then I stayed in here in this hotel, a bit cheaper hotel, but also walking distance to the beach and that was also really great. But today I'll be showing you a bit of the public transportation here in the Dominican Republic and what it's like to take the bus. My flex band, I cannot forget my flex band. That's really important actually. I have been uh, usually packing my rain jacket uh, on top of the bag uh, because we are still in the rainy season here. The rainy season is until the end of November, so sometimes there can be a thunderstorm. The bag is packed, so I'll be heading out on the street here. Hello! I also got some water with me. I was with a friend I had met from France. We had to first take an Uber to the bus station and then head to Santo Domingo, which is the capital of the Dominican Republic. So now we're here at the bus station and uh, this is the bus going to Santo Domingo. We got off the Uber and uh, yeah, it looks quite promising. It looks pretty modern also. The ticket was only 400 pesos, uh, 400 Dominican pesos. That's like uh, $8, I think. Yeah, about 8 US dollars. Ok, ¿qué hora es eh, la salida de autobús a Santo Domingo? Santo Domingo, a la 1 y 20. Aquí. The bus was going to leave about an hour later, so we got some snacks and sat down for a bit. We had to wait here for about one hour, uh, but it's 1 p.m. now, it's leaving in a few minutes. Expresso Punta Cana. And uh, the name of this bus company is Bavaro Express. We got on the bus that was almost full and were about to cross almost half of the country heading west to Santo Domingo. The ride would take about three hours and we had started at the very east part of the island. Connected to the Dominican Republic is the country of Haiti that is facing some challenging problems at the moment. The bus had AC and the seats were pretty good. And also there was a toilet inside the bus, which sometimes can be quite unusual in certain countries. The Dominican Republic is in the middle of the Caribbean and has many direct flights from the US and Canada, especially from the east side like New York, Montreal and Toronto. The landscape was quite green along the way, but after a few hours we had arrived in Santo Domingo. Here we would get off and switch to another bus, but first we had to go to the police station to sort some things out. Uh, we're out of the bus now in Santo Domingo. <laughs> we have to uh, take a subway to go uh, to the um, police station. Maybe we might go to the police station. We need to file a police report for Roman here. He was robbed when he was in Santo Domingo. Here is a crazy line to get into the metro, the subway. Look. Yeah, so we're gonna walk to the police station and then go to a hotel. Um, and then take a bu another bus tomorrow to um, Puerto Plata and I'll be making another video there. Here is the hospital. Emergency. <laughs> Roman had had some bad luck and had been robbed earlier. They had taken his card and withdrawn money from the ATM, so he had to file a police report and send it to his insurance company in France. This was the national police station, and they were really helpful and showed us the right department right away. Uh, Roman, he's in there now, and... Um I think he's speaking to somebody uh, to file this police report of what happened. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can um, 
uh, let him explain later here today. So we've been here at the police station now for a bit more than an hour and uh, it's starting to get dark and we have to go to a hotel for the night and then um, take a bus again tomorrow to the north part of the island. Uh, Puerto Plata is the next destination but I'm so hungry also we have to eat some uh, typical food here. We were out of the police station and decided to take an Uber ride to a hotel where we would spend the night and then get on the bus Hola. in the morning. Yeah, the see. police report had been taken very seriously by the police and Roman got the papers of the report. We arrived here to uh, some kind of hotel called San Francisco. Stay the night here and then go uh, take the bus. Decide from there. To know the Hello. Now uh, we arrive here to uh, Santo Domingo. This is a hotel. It's called San Francisco something. Hotel San Francisco. It was forty dollars for one night. Um, yeah, just kind of a simple room here. A bed, and here is the toilet. Nothing special. Breakfast included also. But we also have to go out on the street and get something to eat, even though it's quite dark now. Now we're going out in Santo Domingo to eat. Nom 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 nom. Hopefully we don't get robbed again. We have to run. I got my running shoes on. Pescado, el pescado. We are back in the Sola, Zona Colonial. This is the neighborhood where you were robbed. Right, it's in space. Right? <laughs> so empty. But we are not afraid. We are here to explore some more. <laughs> Spanish explorers had come to the Dominican Republic in the early 1500s, and Zona Colonial is the oldest continuously inhabited European settlement in the Americas. The roads were quite organized with a grid system and square shaped houses. Where do you come from? Me, 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 uh, China, China. China. Oh, Where okay. are you come from? Sweden. My, my brother. Sweden. Different, uh, but good. Uh, Sweden? Sweden, yeah. Oh. Trinidad yeah. Tobago? Yeah. No. Where are you from? Sweden. I'm French. Okay. French? French. French. Oh. Yeah, I come from. I go the back. Beautiful. Policia. The police. Here. It was quite an interesting yeah. place and also really unique buildings. But probably it would have been better to see during the daytime. This is Zona Colonial. It's a really old part of town and uh, I think uh, Christopher Columbus, he uh, came here in the 1500s and uh, was one of the first people here to uh, build up the city. Columbus is said to have been the first to discover many Caribbean islands, but many Vikings were there hundreds of years earlier and indigenous people thousands of years earlier. But the Europeans killed them all and took the land. Cigar. No, I don't smoke. No, you have a good cigar. Uh -huh. yes. Good cigar. Yeah, yeah. A special cigar. Look. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. No, no smoke. You smoke? No, I don't. That's just a The next day. Woke up, it's the next day. And uh, this is a typical breakfast here in the Dominican Republic called mangu. Some kind of banana mixture with onion and uh, I don't really know. I think there might be avocado in it too mixed in. But just had breakfast and I'm uh, out walking a bit here on the street. And one thing I've noticed is that like a lot of the cars have a really dark tint on the windows, like even the front window. You cannot see, like it's impossible to see if somebody's inside a car or not, since even the very front window is really tinted. <laughs> now coming down to the water here, the Caribbean Sea, but here on this side, uh, the water is not very nice.
and it looks like this is some kind of lava that hardened a lot of islands in the world were created by volcanic activity and all the lava was just coming and coming and coming for thousands or uh, hundreds of thousands or millions of years and then it piled up and created land areas that might have been the case here I walked out on the rocks and could see that the usually blue Caribbean sea was not very blue. It seemed like wastewater was being dumped into the sea, since behind the dumping point the water was quite blue. This is usually how it is in big cities in the world. Sewage water has to go somewhere. I was just flying with my drone and you could see in the drone shot way over there that there was a line where the water was really brown and murky and then on the other side it was blue. So uh, must be that they let out the wastewater here in this little uh, bay. But it's strange because uh, that's done in all parts of the world, like places I've been to. Wastewater is just dumped and pumped straight out to the ocean and the sea. I don't know why, why and how, like, not just here, but like, almost every country in the world, wastewater is dumped out to, not every country in the world, but a lot of countries, wastewater is just pumped and dumped out into the ocean. I came back from my little walk and uh, it's time to go again. We're gonna take the bus to Punta Cana. And also my friend from France, he went to the embassy earlier today when I went for the walk. Okay, we're going now, my friend. <laughs> yeah. The Uber is here, so uh, we're taking it to the bus station and then uh, going on a four hour bus ride to the north. Caribe tour. We got some food here. Uh, I got a rice and chicken and an extra rice. Total of 280 uh, Dominican pesos. So the name of this bus uh, terminal here is uh, Caribe Tours, and this is what where you need to go if you want to go to Puerto Plata. It's a huge uh, bus station, and uh, yeah, <laughs> we got a ticket here for 500 uh, pesos to go all the way across the country, actually, from the very south to the very north. I think it will take uh, about four hours or so. The bus was really nice and modern, and we had started a 200 km or 125 mile journey that would take us all the way across the country of the Dominican Republic, going from the very south and to the very north part of the island. You can buy a SIM card from a cell phone service provider called Claro. You get 10 GB of data for around 15 US dollars. There was also surveillance inside the bus, which was quite good. The whole country has about 11 million people, and we saw a lot of cities along the way, and also some mountains. So I got off here in Puerto Plata, and uh, my friend Roman, he is going to a place called Caparete, because he had already booked his uh, apartment there. But I will be staying here in Puerto Plata for a few days and uh, make a video. So in the next... The next video will be from uh, the city of Puerto Plata and uh, the beach also. We booked a hotel down here so I'll be walking down there and then uh, maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna do today. But um, in conclusion, the public transportation is quite good here in the uh, Dominican Republic. The bus ride was uh, comfortable, uh, nice seats and um, it did take quite some time. Now it's, uh, let's see what time it is, it's uh, 5. So it took four hours actually, that was quite long. 
uh, a four hour ride. It stopped in a few cities along the way. I have about a kilometer of a walk down to the hotel and the beach is also this way down here. And then we have some resorts further down uh, in the east part of town. I had arrived in the city of Puerto Plata that has a population of 330,000 people. In the old part of town there is a huge marina where massive cruise ships stop on their journey across the Caribbean. A lot of them start in Florida and have several stops along the way. Sometimes about 7,000 people get off the ships and the people contribute some to the tourism, development and economy. Here is Dinas de Hotel. Hola. Yo tengo una reservación. Okay, a nombre de William. William, William. Sí. Uh, hotels. Hotel Hotel Hotel. Eh, me digo el nombre. William. William. Tao Di. Como te digo, grande de de roof. Ah, okay. And we have also a room service. I just arrived to the next hotel here, Hotel Dynasty, uh, Dynasty in Puerto Plata, $45 per night, uh, it's quite nice, I'm only gonna be here for two days I think, maybe three, to make a really good video about the whole city here um, in the next video, but it's quite modern, there's AC, TV, nice bed, Maybe we should try the bounce, it's pretty good bounce. And uh, toilet also here. Toilet is quite nice. It's pretty good actually. Oh. A good bounce. A lot of places I've seen seem a bit abandoned. Like here we have a gas station and uh, some old restaurant that is Nobody's here, look. Pollo Rey. Here is the gas station. Hola. I think the beaches are over there. I might be like in the downtown area probably. The beaches and the resorts are probably over there. It was the same in uh, Punta Cana when I was there. Uh, the beach and resort area look quite different from the actual um, downtown area. But I have to find my way back to the hotel here now. I don't know if I went the right way. What's your name? William. My name is Richie. Where do you come Richie, from? Richie, Sweden. Suecia. Oh, sí. okay. What do you learn how to speak? You speak Spanish? No, a poquito de español. Okay, I'm going español and I'm going to speak Latin. How do you call yourself? Edward? Eh? William. Ah, William. William. Yeah, sí. William. I'm from Suecia. Okay, come on, let's go to the restaurant. Where are you? Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo. This is the museum. Uh -huh. This is your shop. There's a photo there. Ah, okay. How long are you here, William? How long? Yes, basically. Two days. Two days more. Take a photo there, what you want. Ah, okay. There's no problem. Okay. okay. You can take a photo. Come. Ah, now it's okay. it's okay. Give me a chance. You want me to take a yeah. photo of your shop? Yeah. What is it? Come, it's Come, Cerrado. Come, William. Come. Cerrado. Take a couple of photos. No uh -huh. I can take a photo. Okay. Cigarros. Cigarros. Yeah, he's a little dark. He'll come back again. No, me no fumar. No problem. Okay, try more stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to close. No problem. We'll continue. You smoke? No. No smoke. No fumar. Okay. Gracias. You see, you're my friend. Yeah. Okay, I will go home. No, I show you. Did you see the? Ah, no, I have to go. I have to go. I accompany you today. Okay. No problem, my friend. When I see you again? Ah, maybe tomorrow. So I came back to the hotel here after my little walk and um, 
I just realized that I have to go buy water again. I have nothing left. And uh, <laughs> that's not a good thing because um, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm so thirsty and I'm out of water since you can't drink the tap water here. <laughs> so you got to make sure you have water. Especially when you travel quickly like I do uh, now. Like, um, you got to make sure you always have water. Hola. Donde puede comprar agua? Agua. Agua. Subiendo ahí. Derecho ahí. Gracias. I have to buy some water, but there are no stores. I haven't seen a single store here. Donde puedo comprar agua? My Spanish is so bad still. I can't believe that I can't speak better Spanish. <laughs> it's because when I was in Mexico, I never hung out with uh, Mexicans. I only hung out with Americans and Canadians. So that's why I never learned. I think to learn a language, you really have to spend time with the people in that country. Walmart. <laughs> Here we have some kind of street, a bunch of flowers. They're kind of cool, actually. Donde puedo comprar agua? Hola. Tienes comida aquí? Comida? Solo tengo café, chocolate y galletas. Ah, okay. Gracias. En el parque. En el parque. Oh, here we have supermarket. Tenda Las Margaritas. He said uh, they have food uh, in the park somewhere, but I might go into the supermarket instead. So um, I asked the lady over here, she said uh, there should be a restaurant in the park. This is quite cool actually. Here, look, a bunch of flowers and umbrellas. So here is the park. She said there will be a restaurant here. We're gonna see if we can find a restaurant in the park here. Huh? He's from Puerto Plata. Hey, give us how old is he? Ah. This is also one of the oldest parts in the country. Spanish explorers started building it up in the 1500s. I couldn't find a restaurant here, so I'm going back to the grocery store that I saw down the street here. <laughs> I've been walking for 15 or 20 minutes almost. Didn't find a single restaurant. I don't know how that's possible. Or maybe here. I found some pizza for 200 pesos. Four dollars for two. I got two small pizzas. And now the grocery store is closed. That's too bad for me. The grocery store just closed. So now I can't buy water. It was open like 10 minutes ago. Agua. Por favor. Tres. Now I got my water. Three bottles of water. <laughs> And I have to find my way back. I didn't bring my phone, so I don't have a map. But I think the hotel should be over here somewhere. <laughs> Hello. So I'm back here in the hotel now. I found my water and I also had dinner. But uh, thanks for watching this video and hopefully you got a bit of a better understanding of uh, what the public transportation is like here in the Dominican Republic. In the next video, I might have said this already, but I'll be making a long video about Puerto Plata, which is a really famous uh, tourist destination also here in the Dominican Republic. I'm going to be visiting all the beaches and showing you what it all looks like here. And then I will be going to a, another famous place called Susa and also Cabarete. Cabarete is really famous and I might stay in Cabarete for two weeks and just relax a bit, hang out and also try some kite surfing. But thanks for watching this video and as always if you liked it please leave it a thumbs up and um, you can post a comment if you want and if you haven't subscribed to the channel then please subscribe to the channel. But see you next time. See you next time.